Hello, Explore, and welcome. I'm Nat, and I'm here with Meg in our little adventurous Kamigan trip. In the middle, in the middle of, of the sea. Of the sea. So. <laughs> For those of you who are new to our channel, welcome to part two of this vlog. So we're doing our pictorial, so we'll, we'll show you how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> the difficult life. If you haven't seen part one, which covers the beautiful white beach, something you definitely shouldn't miss, and also the underwater cemetery, which Kamigan is also very known for, then check the link above or in the description of this video. Ito yon. Ito, ito yung pinaka-first na. Mm. Hello. It was built okay. and then destroyed 1871 volcanic eruption. Okay. So May 13, 1871. Because before, ma'am, this is the center town of Kanigin. So that's the reason the Spanish built their church <coughs> here in this area. Okay. The so same as Sanken Cemetery also. So the walls are made of corals in this old church. <coughs> wow. It's really nice here and entrance fee or environmental fee is only 50 pesos each so this is another tourist spot you shouldn't miss because it's just the ambiance of being here surrounded by trees and nature and the history the weather is cooperating today yeah so. follow the traveling foxes <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a tour of the old church ruins, and then we're gonna go. Oh. <laughs> and then we are going to get coffee. So we have made it to the Beehive. It's a, such a cute cafe. Have a look. Vietnamese style. Yes, one Vietnamese. Yes. What food do you have here? Okay, shakes, waffle, cookies. Oi, pancit guisado, Meg. Chicken ramen. If you end up coming here, you are guaranteed a seat because everything is a seat here. Look, we got this table. There's one made out of cement and tiles, beautifully designed. And you go a little further, you have the view with more chairs and tables. <laughs> wow, there's like a lot going on here. It's so cool. Definitely a cafe you need to stop over when you're in Kamigan. I don't even know where Meg is. Like, it's not a big place, but there's so many like places to visit. So the question is, do you want to stay indoor or outdoor? High seating, low seating, wooden, cement? The choice is endless. Meg, the question is, where do you want to sit? I But I like there. Sure, it's dry. Parang. Let's try. Do you know when you're overwhelmed with too many choices? It's also a problem. Diba? So you want not to see you? Yeah, here na lang. Here or you want here? What eh? What from the thing? Okay, okay. You can see it. Here. Yeah, we can go there. I know we can have a view, a nice view. Yeah. Oh. So Meg, how's your coffee so far? I love it. It's yeah. like, you know, near to legit. So, <laughs> near to legit. Yeah. Because it's in the first place. First, nothing coffee. Yeah, wasn't that good. And you know, like for coffee lovers like us, 
Um, when you go to the province, it's hard to find quality coffee here in the Philippines because it's mostly three in one. But then there's been a slow growing culture of coffee appreciation or enthusiasts. So here in Pamigin, Beehive definitely need to get your coffee kick. Yeah. You ordered the Italian? Italian coffee. And good, so I can't wait for mine because I got beet yet. Yeah. I always do because it's sweet. How do we get the style day? Just with um like all that? Yes. Condensed milk. Uh uh. Yes, Pero condensed. Naka, ano? I think so, it's already oh, mixed. Nice. Condensed milk is the game yeah. killer, especially when it comes with super dark beans. Uh. Yes, love it. So, I have a lot of order ko Italian. Ito nga pala yung ano ng Italian espresso. So, my drank my drink and she enjoyed my drink. My drink <laughs> that I was. <laughs> that was mo pa. This is my coffee. This is the one I This is. Because it's mine! <laughs> oh my god, it's so epic. Dahi, <laughs> it's okay. No, to get back at her, I'll just have to sip her coffee after you. I want to taste. Yeah. So, okay, now explain your Italian coffee. <laughs> just to clarify, she was drinking mine, Kanina. So, espresso lang yung kinuha ko talaga kasi ayo um ayo kang ma disappoint sa milk. So, may <laughs> dami mo yan na. Di ka yung shot. I love it. <laughs> Dami mo ng ano bloopers ha. Sumo so, sobra ka na. Our next itinerary na. So sad but better than swim sa mud. Yeah. <laughs> no. So no cold spring today because it's flooding. So that's okay. Just, um yeah, maybe we can visit tomorrow, maybe not. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah paano ko na alam? <laughs> Where are we going, Meg? Tuas and Fool. Yawn. You can see it from outside the sign. I saw the sign. Open up my eyes. I saw the sign. All right. Next up is Tuas and Falls, and we're here now. The weather kind of changed a little bit. Now it's a bit of overcast and it's drizzling a little bit, but it's perfect. You know, it's perfect weather for the waterfall. <laughs> And the first thing you notice when you come in here is all the different types of plants and trees and the sound of the waterfall. For the rest of the day but the tour goes on guys so the water pool it is so entrance fee is 75 pesos each 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hello, good morning. Good morning. The Santo Nino one was closed, so I think there's a lot of people here today because number one is Saturday and the other ones are closed. And it's lunchtime, and it's a great place to actually uh, take your lunch because you can rent a cottage and eat with your friends. So, guys, apparently the soda pool is drinkable, but I'm not gonna test it today because there's way too many people swimming. Especially before, you can drink straight from this and yeah, it's nice. I'm not gonna taste it, but look at this. It feels refreshing. I don't know if it's because of the rain, but Meg's um, busy with her fans. So she might not be able to vlog this part much. My suggestion is do not come here on a weekend because everyone's gonna be here. Um, renting cottages and having their food. So suggestion, if you would make a tour on the weekend, do not visit this place and just visit it another time when you can. Or if you want to stay here and just rent a cottage with your friends and family, that would work as well. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight <laughs> See, this the girl so busy with her fans. So I want to Oh, man, go. <laughs> Let's get some snacks. Mama, can you get some cake? What is it? It's a little bit. 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 Okay, so apparently this is cassava. Um, chocolate, I'm not sata, caramel. Ah, gawang yung. I think they're gawang yung. Yeah. Interesting. Mmm, sweet. Masarap. <laughs> Perfect snack. This is why you should never give me food. Never. Look at this. Yeah! Perfect! Mm. It's all over the seat and my legs. Oh my god! It's like eating or melting ice cream. My god! Warning, do not eat this in the car next time. Eat this outside, but it's raining and there's so many people taking photos with Meg. Well, if I go out to wash it off, I'll go out. Well, now Meg's here. Meg, can you pass me tissues at back? I spilled all over my legs. Yeah, yeah I know, same, same. Oh, he got me dog. And now I'm losing sleep. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart, but I lost it somehow. Wish that someone could say it'll all be okay. Katiba Watson Falls. Yes. Yes, so this is the last stop for our tour today. Oh, look, you can see the waterfalls really close um, from the entrance. Well, we are in our last destination. Um, I kind of forgot to mention a lot of the entrance fees in the previous locations because I got so carried away. But just so you guys know, it's approximately 75 pesos per entrance fee and all the 
sites that we visited. Always bring petty cash with you guys because you need cash. <laughs> we had to borrow from our, I know, our driver for now because we didn't bring, like I brought huge bills, like 1,000 pesos, but as you know, like a lot of these places don't have change. So always bring loose change. Gcash is still not very popular here, so better cash still here in Tomegan. Once again, thank you guys for watching another vlog from Traveling Foxes, and we'll catch you in our next adventure. Bye!